What's up, guys? This is the Brofman, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Grand Columbia. And in this episode, the army of Austria has waltzed far too close to the French capital, and we are going to obliterate them. Um, but we do want to make sure that the troops we bring in are actually useful, chiefly because we've got a lot of weak units here. Um, we want to make sure that we have the most useful units as possible up front coming in. Something like that. But apart from that, the enemy is made up of a combination of light cavalry forces, lots of um, light infantry and militia, plus a couple of regular units, but we shouldn't be shouldn't come into too many come across too many issues there. Uh, they have a couple of light, interesting light infantry regiments, the Hungarian fusilier unit. But nothing that will unduly trouble us. We will sweep them aside and we will continue to fight against the Austrian forces and try and stabilize a front line in eastern France. Because right now, we don't really have that. Um, and we also want to make sure we are advancing our war aims elsewhere in the world because I think we need to start making more progress in these campaigns rather than smashing every adversary we meet to pieces. But before we get too carried away, Let's deal with the action ahead of us. Come on, why are you taking... There we go. Oh, we're in a town. Well, I'm not... So, first of all, let's take these two itty-bitty units, put them right at the back. What's of these depleted units? They're not... It's not a problem having depleted units, it's just making sure that well, for, for ease of play, you kind of group them together so that when you're dragging them out like this, they're all roughly in the right ratios. And you don't have to be exact, you know, so like my grenadiers are four ranks deep compared to my colonial line, and that's okay. Let's put my grenadiers on the right. My skirmishes are going to go out there as well, as is all of my cavalry. Foot artillery is going to stay unlimbered, as is my horse artillery. My general's bodyguard is bugged. And they've got 120, 121 um, constituents. Let's get cracking. First of all, make you guys withdraw. Okay, this could get quite interesting, actually. I want to cure this high ground. my cavalry forward, put my horse artillery over here, try to get them to push at speed. My foot artillery just push to this area of clear ground here. General advance. My howitzers are firing round shot, and that is fine. Although they might not actually be shooting. Okay, let's... Oh no, their cavalry is... Their um, infantry, rather, is withdrawing. The Swiss Mountain Jäger. Yep, so some of our depleted comrades are coming in first. Let's make them run up to about here. In the other direction, our stronger infantry is pushing up. Let's just bring them back as a bit of a reserve. Yeah, that's not to chunk out of my colonial line. However, they've not been able to stop our advance. How it's to start to drop quick climb on top of these Hungarian fusiliers. They're beginning to engage us. The Swiss plaguemen are moving up, but we're going to be in position imminently. We're going to guards. We're going to begin engaging them through the bushes. Pour fire on them. My colonial line here are going to be ready to unleash volleys. They can do it fast enough. The cavalry are right here. So should they get ideas above their station? So this pikeman morale is generally quite bad. 
three target my howitzer let's get them to attack ground here just to start hitting these units as they advance in like swiss pikemen they're already wavering they're under fire they're probably gonna break no they didn't push them in in the flank Okay, so my troops on the flank, I can see their cavalry coming. Don't want to charge, well I should charge my cavalry in now. Light cav sharpshooters have advanced, that's a terrible idea because then you're much better off using them to shoot with. Let's see the pikemen could not deal with the counter charge from the household cavalry so they're going to continue to attack them then push through rapidly you men square was broken which is a good idea engage the fusiliers your square was broken as well excellent Okay, they appear to want to make this a melee fight, and they are welcome to do so. However, my line infantry disagrees and wants to keep this as a good old fashioned musket fight. Get my household cavalry out of the way so they can do their work. How oh, it says, gonna be a bit dicey. Colonial line infantry has to hold. Yeah, let's commit my general's bodyguard in against the House of Cavalry. My general's being sniped at by their artillery. Oh, my infantry are coming in from the complete wrong direction. I got there. I thought they were coming in from over here. Well, they're going to break and run. Not terrible. Okay, let's get ready. There we go. Exceptional quick line. Accepting a bit of backblast. I was very much of the opinion that it was going to hurt them more than it hurt me. And the end result is the core of their position has been destroyed. My colonial lights engaging the Swiss Grenadier Guards. My general bodyguard should be doing all right against the House of Cavalry. You guys need to make your mind up on whether you're coming or going. Who's that? That's their general pushing in. There we go. My infantry pushed through. Yeah, let's get them over here. Also, cavalry get over onto the flank. Yeah, the household cavalry have made us work for it. The Swiss Grenadiers are attempting to make us do the same. There we go. Let's retreat this infantry. Same with you. You're back here. There you are. Advance against the remainder. You men engage the militia. You men engage the Jaeger. Should really have tried to dispatch some cavalry to deal with their artillery sooner than I have done. I don't mind their light infantry chasing my infantry. Their light infantry is in for a bad time. Okay, let's push my line up. There we go. You deal with the horse artillery. Didn't really use my artillery much at all this action. I pushed up a bit too aggressively. But this is the first battle of the, of the episode. It's the first battle I've played today. Carnage is expected, like losing a bunch of horses to stakes. Not that I really mind. It's quite, that's actually pretty good. 
from the AI's perspective there. They built quite a decent um, defensive position around their artillery. Which, were I not so cavalier with my men's lives, may mean something to me. Push up to engage. For the most part, though, the battle is over. They're running in one direction. Just get out of the stakes. Excellent. Could do some pursuing, but I think we... We won successfully, su sufficiently badly there. I think we don't want to keep keep trying our luck. It was good enough. It's all it needed to be. We have more troops coming in um, from the south. Oops, so they're falling back south towards this army. They could be in a bit of trouble, depending on how depleted the reinforcements are. The N Napoli Navy is just incredibly lethal. Don't worry, Marathas. We've got plenty of troops heading your way. Ooh. Let's... I don't want to fight it. But I'm going to roll the dice. Ah, oh, we lost, but they lost six ships. So, even though that counts as a loss, um, you know, that was alright. So, they aren't going to pursue us. They're going to take over the slot. So, we need to send a... We've already got a reinforcing fleet on the way over there, I believe. We can bring our weak ships back together. That's not a problem. Not our weak ships, but our battle fleet can rejoin. New port emerges in St. Mary's. Let's build a trading port. Let's get... Ooh. Let's take a bit of a gamble here. Let's build one sloop, and then I can send this first rate out to here. In terms of upgrades, just keep on rolling. Villa Hermosa is upgraded. Can't see what their army's like, but there's an opportunity here actually to just knock out. Um, Mexico in one blow. I think I should probably do that. Let's take our our smallest unit, combine them with some of these other units. Excellent. They've got one space free. They can still make it to Antigua. Let's go for it. One battle. <laughs> really depleted. Yeah, let's go for Mexico. Knock them out. Then we can start to well, effectively, we've got plenty of production in um, Europe to deal with European problems. I think once we've done this here, we're going to want to maximise our production in the Americas to support the war in India. Uh, start to send more troops over. Once we get the initial um, landings against in British territory underway, we can start to do more amphibious assaults against their holdings on the coast. City battle. Interesting. Howitzers provide close support. Foot artillery up here. I mean this is going to be brutal. It's going to be brutal because they have many mortars. So stretch our army out as wide as it can be. Combine our cavalry together. Our general is going to have to do some dashing maneuvers. Who's over here? Colonial line. Advance to break them. The enemy guns. Oh, actually... No, there they are. Mortar unit. Give my units orders to advance through the town at speed. Let's 
cavalry advance. We're just looking for an an inn. No, it's just the one mortar battery. Yeah, they're starting their their work. Come to their general's bodyguard. Push our troops forward, see if we can knock him out. So we've got our irregulars in the line. Storm forward. Go after that garrison line unit. This cavalry go out wide. My troops whipping around the flank. They're just going to have to get stuck in. They're going to be a bit isolated. You could ambush the general's bodyguard. These men storm around the flank. With artillery engage the 18th regiment. Howitzers just bombard their mortars, give them a bit of counter battery work. Make that line infantry break. Just so we can try and swing the right flank shut. There we go. Just push them forward. Shattered. Excellent. General and her household cavalry are going to go for the armed citizenry. Infantry here is engaging. General is still alive on his own. Get my marines up to engage the enemy militia. Excellent. Artillery is coming in. It's done good work against their guns. We've broken two of their infantry units. You men push up and form up. Their general managed to flee back to their lines. Excellent. You men are going to advance forward just to get a bit more firepower. Advance you men forward. Now it says engage the 10th Regiment of Mexican Infantry. There we go. We've managed to make their infantry break. kill the colonial militia. We're just constantly trying to make units that are broken stay broken. We don't want them to recover. Actually, you men go for the 11th regiment. This heavy cav will be fine to chase after this selection. How it's a fire has broken the resolve of many a unit. Engage the 40th. Look at this guy standing there all nonchalant. Yeah, I thought as much. The general's bodyguard's in the mix here somewhere. Doesn't really matter. We fought them in the city. We have killed them. And now the Empire is ours. And the Americas are ours. So we can start to get these armies turned around and replaced. Well, replenished and sent to India. Bye-bye, Mexican forces. Let's get this area turned around. We don't need a dockyard. We don't need a dry dock. Bring this fleet back here. Veracruz, recruit some sloops. Okay, you're ready to push 
Okay, let's start to move some of these troops back. Uh, we're going to keep the Jesuit College because we want to recruit more religious agents to ship over to the likes of India. We're all going to hold ready. Lots of these units, you're actually going to combine and go back to Caracas and be formed into a new army. Yeah, you are very much needed for policing duties. Same with Panama. We're not going to we're not going to fuss about shipping them over by sea. That's not a huge. It's not a huge, huge priority. We just want to start the ball rolling. Okay, right. Newport emerges. Oh, we've sorted that out again. Here is St. Augustine. Push you up to the north. That fleet no longer requires ships. You require one more. Let's take first rate from here. So these are two fully battle ready fleets. Take the rest of these ships that we've captured from our enemies. Something like that. Okay, we've done most of this. Can you leave the Black Hills yet? Minus seven. Still going to take a bit of time. The religious agent, though, has converted them. So I think I probably want to go north. Go to York Factory, convert them, and then you'll need to be shipped over to India, I suspect. You're going to disappear imminently, so you'll be free to go to India. Let's get the rake to join him. And let's get the road upgrades marked up, ready. Got a Bapa ready fleet over here in India. We don't really need it, but let's just sit here. Nation destroyed in Mexico. Path blocked. Yes, you chaps. So first of all, Sebastian Serrano. Let's get rid of the horse artillery because I don't really like it. You men replenish and let's... Let's do a bit of a swap. You can recruit a heavy horse, or heavy horse guard... Foot artillery, not howitzers. There we go. You've done exceptionally well. These are more troops to support Mr. Crispy, who's done fantastic work holding the bridge. You can be replenished. You're going to move cross country. Let's get the new roads built. Can't build any... Um, Religious eight, any uh, dra dragoons here, so we're still waiting for you guys to get with the program. Minus four. Then we can move on to Milan, and then we'll open up front with Venice. I mean, you guys, in future, when we get an opportunity like this, we'll declare war on Naples so we can land in Taranto. Run up to Naples, take the city, and just destroy, destroy their faction in one go. Britain will will uh, be defeated this turn, so we will probably do that. Move you men into Madrid. Good. So Pennsylvania, Spain, Ceylon. Soy su humilde servidor. Yeah, your force is ready. We have three fleets, which is pretty... Well, three um, invasion forces, which is very useful. In theory, we could try and go for them now, but what's the point? Why try fight this full army when imminently they will cease to exist? 
es la orden. They will cease to exist, and the regions can be taken by ourselves. Okay, yeah, you are ripe to land off the coast of Amsterdam, but when, when the um, the front line is finished, you will be committed to flank Amsterdam once Brussels and once Brussels is under siege and we've pushed them back in the uh, this sort of eastern France, western Germany. Then we'll start to land. We'll probably end up declaring war on Hanover. Protectorate of Venice. But yeah, we're going to keep pushing east. But for now, let's go to south of France, where we're going to smash. Oh, actually, yeah, we'll fight it manually. Karl Kraus and their reinforcements here that are already quite badly depleted. You want to clear and secure France itself. Then we can go on the offensive. And then we'll start to do things like attack Genoa, attack Milan, storm east. It's not so right now, not having religious agents isn't a problem, but it's going to become one quite rapidly. So, yeah, agents recruited in the Americas is going to be very important. You know, most of. France and Germany is going to be Catholic, so that's okay. But India definitely isn't. The Ottomans definitely aren't. Because it's raining. Gonna get a funky sound. Our artillery is deployed. Boat artillery is deployed. Our line is going to look spanking in yellow. I'm going to keep my skirmishers back as a bit of a reserve. My cavalry. Position them on the flanks. Ooh, yeesh. Come at, come at them, cavalry. My skirmishers can be a bit of a reserve. I might even take unit of line infantry over here. Once the um, pikemen come in, they could get a bit dicey. Okay, let's start to exploit our use of quick climb, clear out some of these enemy scallywags, kill the enemy general. Yeah, there's the Swiss pikemen coming in. Form square, they're sending troops to try reinforce. Run my light cavalry away. Skirmish is going to open up onto the hussars. Give them a. Oh, that's cut them down quite nicely. Fold this flank in. The skirt, the um, pikemen are missing in action. Fold the flanks in here. These fusiliers are probably going to be fine as well. Pesh and Jaeger are advancing, but they're advancing into musket range. Oh, they're actually bayonet charging. Well, they're running at us. Infantry, bayonet charge the Swiss pikemen. Oh, it says... Quick load the carabiner because they're going to keep picking us off. Human folks on the Swiss pikemen. My cavalry folks on their cavalry. Smash those guardsmen. I think they can withstand us. They've bayonet charged us in the center. Push our line up. Put, in, put artillery bombard their artillery unit. The Hessian Jaeger have been repulsed. I 
all the flanking against the Swiss Pikes because they are they were shaken. They're going to do some damage to our infantry, but our Marines need to stay where they are, going toe to toe with the 73rd Regiment. This could get a bit dicey. We need to kill these guard units. This guard unit quite quickly. Charge the Swiss pikes in the rear. You men form up. Quick climb the carabiner. They're picking us off, but we're engaging them quite nicely. Their formation's pretty knackered. We're going to be losing a lot of horsemen here to those Swiss pikes. You can hear them going. Actually, they have to go for light cavalry sharpshooters because my light horse are very upset. Light cavalry sharpshooters are very good skirmish cavalry. There you go, get my skirmishes formed up. My line formed up here. There we go. Keep killing them as long as they're shattered, but I'm pretty sure yeah, my skirmishes are going to tip the balance here against their skirmish cavalry. My artillery can engage the 73rd. and Fusiliers have advanced, but they're going to get slaughtered. Send my Marines in against the General's Bodyguard. Send in some infantry against the Horse Artillery. Push the rest of my line forward. The reinforcements have been destroyed. Excellent skirmishes push and take the high ground against these light dragoons. The Deutschmeister regiment are pushing to try and save their general and their artillery. But we are advancing to meet them. Kill him! Kill them! You are Fusiliers, so you're not the best at this, but you got pl plenty of help. Go get the General's bodyguard. Come on, you men. Reload. They're at point blank range. They're going to fire first. Yeah. The morale. Impact is strong. Third rank is going to be three muskets. There we go. The return fire is kicking in. There we go. General's been routed. But, uh, there we go. Now the general's been killed. Two Austrian gentlemen have fallen on the field of battle. Nice. Okay, that should go some way to help try and tidy up this part of the this part of the line. Okay, you go tidy up these last fellows. So you, Mr. Moreno, or Monino. We're going to head south, ready to jump on Genoa. Because I think we are at a point where we don't really care about the about our anyone else in the region. So we'll want two armies, one to push Venice, one to push south towards Rome. We need to take out Sardinia. Got lots of things to do. You can keep going north. Uh, you auto resolve these fellows. Hemos triunfado. Adelante. 
Excellent. So you're bringing up your new artillery, which is great. You're still reinforcing. Okay, I think. I mean, we can build here. Let's see if they actually take it out. But your job will be... When you're at full strength, well, one of you is going to push forward to secure this bridge. One of you is going to take Brussels. The rest are going to start sparring with their main forces to the south. And you, good sir, could attack Tripoli, but we're going to let them attack us. So they abandon their mortars and we can slaughter them in front of the, in front of the walls of Tripoli. Excellent. Okay. Lots of good recruiting. Send a sloop over to Marsha Schlock. Cool. Yeah, Edinburgh's being converted slowly. It's going to take a long time. Ultimately, we're going to convert until we can just get religious unrest. I mean, that religious unrest is actually fine. Just keep public order down somewhat. We've done all this, mostly. Good. Get ready. <laughs> Get ready, Marathas. You don't know what's going to hit you. Right. So in terms of tech, we're still chugging along nicely. We're going to get machine rifling that's going to open up out the door on sharpshooters. That's going to be pretty nice. Cool. Okay, let's hit and turn. Yes, yeah, troops start to make their way back up to the their relevant recruiting areas. There we go. Here come the Brits. They don't have much of an army here. And we're going to be able to waltz into Bengal, get it turned around as quickly as we can, and then start to pump out our armies and take the war to the Marathas um, relatively quickly, all the while still constantly building up our forces elsewhere to push across Europe. Push into... Well, um, Ceylon is effectively going to be a, a region that's going to pump out an army and then attack the coast and rinse and repeat. So, as is tradition, what you want to do is deploy as far to the back at the back as you can, because you want their mortars to abandon their gun positions. The terrain is not ideal for what we want to do, but that is fine because all we're doing is letting the enemy come towards us, run into our sights, be destroyed, and rinse and repeat. Although I probably want to make you a bit more over here. Something like this. Drop the artillery. I'm okay with some firepower not being as effective as it could be. Ooh, they've actually deployed their... They've deployed their guns outside of the walls. That's actually quite fun. Storm, storm, storm. Typically, that's not what they do. That's quite fun. Well, either way, we're going to try outflank their their force. All my artillery is engaging their artillery. You start to quick climb these troops just so they don't slow us down. There we go, some Colombian sepoy troops. Excellent. We hit the militia. Let's switch to round shot, because we don't want to start putting too much fratricide. 
You're upset, that's okay. Same with you, that's okay. She meant make ready and start firing. Curve the flank around, push them in a little bit. It's very nice for that militia unit to route because they were actually in the way of where our grenadiers wanted to stand. He's going to nail it past our own line, so let's push these. They seem to be aware of what, we, what we're going to do. Um, there's some guerrilla mercenaries in the way. They will be intercepted and killed by our troops as they advance. No need for special treatment. My light cavalry is going to zip around here into the mortars from the rear. Colonial line. African loads of infantry mercenaries have been cut down. Redirect our current artillery fire. Come on, you fellows, go get him. The Brits just being eviscerated by our exceptional crossfire. Colonial line is attempting to provide some sort of resistance, but it's only a token effort. General's bodyguards on the loose. The artillery is going to be dealt with. Push the infantry around the flank. All my artillery just try and engage the general's bodyguard. That's right, run into the middle of the battlefield. Good hits. Exceptionally good. Close off the circle, although the general is going to escape. We could do it a lot more efficiently. But the enemy has been encircled. Colonial line's going to get some free shots against the 26th Regiment. Let's pivot them a little bit. But they're not going to be here for very long. Our frontiersmen are advancing to close range. These men are going to be like executioners. They're so close. Artillery ceasefire. Oh, they're shattered. See you later, fellas. Nice. Very nice indeed. So that is Britain eliminated, although they're not eliminated apparently till the end of the turn, which is beneficial because Britain goes first. In theory, it would allow the Marathas to advance and take the territories we want to capture. The scurvy dogs. There we go, Austria's bringing their firepower to bear. Well, they're focusing it north. I mean, I would love a giant bridge battle. I would love that. They're reinforcing Milan. 
perfect. It, can, be, it will be a lovely complete stack of troops I can gobble up and destroy. Very nice indeed. The Ottomans have the opportunity to be a bit cheeky, but I'm pretty sure we've got the naval strength to obliterate them. Here comes the Norwegian Navy. They see the writing on the wall. Hundred nineteen thousand enemy raid at Calais. Yeah, unfortunate, but not terrible. And none of our armies are at full strength. However, what can happen is this switch can happen. New man, march. Can you just go for Strasbourg? I suppose. Let's use. Let's deploy this army. Not that I necessarily wanted to, but I want them to be in the, in the right area to support my troops on the bridge. So right now, a lot of our troops are actually uh, trying to replenish. Okay, so here in Spain. Have a unit of irregulars. Let's get you a unit of horse grenadier guards. So it looks like I never recruit them. Let's get a unit of light cavalry sharpshooters. I think you just want some regular infantry, really. I could try you some blunderbuss shotgunners. Why not? Excellent. Your recruitment's going very well. Mercenaries, grenadiers, and so on. Oficial encubierta. Sí, señor. Okay. Down here in the south of France, let's repair this. Minus two. That should be doable. For you men, put Milan under siege. Don't worry about attacking them, just put them under siege. Johan Hell. Johan's going to hell. Excellent. So you're not ready yet, but when you are, you'll attack Genoa. Put them under siege. You're going to go capture Strasbourg. We've got plenty of troops near France to help defend it. Okay, you could do with... Let's get a unit of mercenaries. And that's another full army recruited in Paris. That's plenty of troops we've got against. A raid against the uh, Balthazar, Balthazar von Baden Baden. I want them to drift a bit too close to this bridge. Um, but the biggest news, obviously, is we have Tripoli. And naturally, they hate us because we are good Catholic people. So expect. To be honest, there's no point building anything here. They're they are going to hate us for a very long time. Minus nine turns. I'll try and exempt them from tax to minimise that. Let's get our building work done. Are you minus four. Okay, these are our fleets we've sent over here. You just smash the leftovers of these Marathas. There we go. Preparados. Uh, no, no, you've been... No, you've been... You've been a bit keen. Back to the Americas you go. You've been done. Okay, let's dispatch 
this fleet out to the East Indies. You can go up to Yorktown for repairs. Come on, on you go. Charles and Veer. Same is down here. This fleet can be repaired. Britain's gone. Britain's gone. But as a result, it does mean da -da! these regions are now horribly defended. So let's go for it. Send Faustino Pizarro, who previously would have invaded these lands. But now he is back with a vengeance. Come on. It's bugging. There we go. We're probably not going to fight it manually. We're just going to water it. Because it's just a pretty small rebel garrison. Let's just auto that. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That's actually a really big... Really a lot of casualties there. Fun. Get repairing, you guys get replenishing. College of Divinity, get rid of that because we don't want Protestantism. Then down here. So I thought you'd think I'd have learned my lesson about auto resolves, and the answer is no, I haven't. Let's go for Katak exactly the same way. The roads are pretty undeveloped, so we're going we're gonna to have a few turns of grace to be able to deal with it. They'll probably go for Nagpur as well first. Excellent. Don't need the naval hospital. Repair the port. Got some more spices for sale. Yep, still can't recruit any... Um, Religious buildings, so happiness buildings are going to be order of the day here in India. Let's get repairing, let's get replenishing. Your fleet, your, your recruitment is ongoing. Okay, you're going to be here for a while, which is going to be... Dad, Tunis is going to start recruiting a stack of Dragoons to send down here to try and pacify the population. Let's make sure we're actually replenishing you. 62,000. Okay, down here in Madrid, we've done this. Upgrade the port. You're short one unit. Make it a unit of marines. Because I think we lost that unit in India. We're going to replace it here. Excellent. Basically, I want to hit and turn and see if these guys will wander into a bridge battle. That's what I really, really want to see. Well, I want to see if it happens. It might not happen. As everybody starts moving to their yeah back to their marshalling areas oh no you don't need to go into that fleet that fleet's fully equipped come on bridge 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 just a little bit just go a little bit just drift Drift near the bridge near Paris. Hmm, they might send reinforcements to go defend Milan. That would be a bit different. I don't think it will save them, however. Dresden has become the Kingdom of Saxony, which is quite neat. Oh, they're building their forces near Flanders. Barcos enemigos a la vista. Todos a cubierta. 
Why are you giving... Why am I saying... Why is my... Are my characters talking? Do you plan to do something? Hmm. No, they don't plan. Interesting. Still, I think we have to, to bring battle to them. Here we go. Here come the first um, raiding Marath troops. You want an alliance? Really interesting. Um, I'm only going to go for it because it, they will leave us alone unless they want to be terrible, terrible traitors. Yes, unless they want to betray us and be be despised by the world. I mean, they are actually pushing up and taking Russian territory. That's quite handy, because they are they are definitely a future enemy. And hopefully when we've, we're storming across Europe, we're taking the Balkans, we're taking the Middle East, we're pushing up through Persia. That could be quite fun, to play against a greater Ottoman Empire. Okay, the wetlands are here. No church schools, so happiness building it is. Guards, eh? Let's create one unit of guards. Unit of mercenaries, unit of company infantry. And then start to recruit a lot of company infantry to act as a garrison and backfill our troops. Here, you guys can recruit a unit of mercenaries. And then do the same with company infantry. Intellectual advance, we've got citizenship. Now we're going on with secular humanism. Okay, let's keep the upgrades coming because we've got to pay what well, we're going to be paying for an increasingly large uh, army. So any and all economic development we can do will be good. Okay. Dijon has grown. Nice. Okay, tenanted farms. Lots of this stuff um, should be done. Okay, can the army leave? I mean, they're not. They haven't been replenishing, which is a bit of a bummer. done all of this right so you you're actually pretty good okay get you embarked it's very risky doing this but it's usually as long as you keep an eye on it it's okay Unsurprisingly, New Spain is not happy that it's being left ungarrisoned, so we will you will take over garrison duties to allow us to send another force to India. There it goes. Nice. Very, very nice. Workers on strike in Savoy. Just keep recruiting. It's fine. You, have, you are fully replenished, so you are going to go for... Genoa, we're not going to call in our allies. We're just going to put them under siege as well. We're not going to go crazy pushing to the east. Um, although, you are ready. So let's take, take these first rate ships of the line. Take a light galley. 
Ciro Moreno. <laughs> Nearly. Didn't get him into the port. You men embark. Nice. Declare war. Don't call my allies. Sail to Taranto. March up to Naples. Naples is ungarrisoned. It is ungarrisoned. When we take out Naples, which we, which we will be doing in the next episode, everything will disappear because they have no garrison. My god. To be honest, we may well end up taking all these territories in one turn. We also need to save up to make sure we fight these guys. Push them back north. So fortunately I didn't get my bridge battle, but I am going to get my... You're going to go here. You can defend yourself adequately well. You're going to make sure they don't go eastward. But yeah, this is the one we definitely can't forget to do. So what I'm going to do is we're going to fight it. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time for the next episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And see you next time as we capture uh, the Napoli capital and destroy their faction and the glorious navy they spent so long building. Cheers, everyone.